another dirty little secret about coming to Bali is the uh, essential water bus. So this is the fast boat. Um, I'll splice together the video that shows kind of the view of the boat and what have you. But um, the idea is that if you land in Bali, you have to take a fast boat over to Nusa Penida. Um, and this is the only way really to get there other than a smaller boat. Um, which could be a little bit rougher on the ride, but it's about a 40 minute trip. So again, another little dirty little secret that you don't necessarily find out, but a fast boat is essentially a water bus. Greyhound. Water, water greyhound that you have to take to get to one of the other islands. Um, they do make trips to some of the other islands with these, uh, but you can pull up the schedule. You can find the schedule fairly easily. Uh, Daniel out here did most of the footwork on finding the schedule and the boat carriers and things like that. Uh, we're using Angel Billabong on our trip. Um, so we're able to book them on the way there and on the way back as well. They do make day trips so you can jump, much like a bus schedule, you can jump the ship to go uh, back to the main island of Bali um, and back and forth should you choose to do so. But um, not recommended. It's a very lengthy process. There's a long wait few times. Seven to ten dollars. Yeah, so 20 bucks round trip if you wanted to make a round trip excursion of it. Um, otherwise, it's just another little, I don't want to call it a tiny fee to throw into the mix there. Um, so again, I'll splice in a video that kind of shows you a little bit of how the, the, the atmosphere of the bus is. So y'all stay tuned. Bye. So now that we're in Sumner Harbor, uh, we just got here with Angel Billabong boats. So as you can see here, just getting um, all of your luggage um, is very rudimentary in nature, but it works. Uh, so we kind of saw how the arrangements work. Um, we kind of see how the harbor is. Um, but yeah, so get the bags off. You just uh, I did it here last time, but first off, mine's kind of at the bottom. So uh, in a minute, I'll update you or splicing another video that kind of shows the interaction with getting a driver. So pretty cool. Um, at the same time, just one of those things you just work with as you travel. So now we're on the walk up, um, Sonora Harbor, our driver's waiting for us. So I'll splice in a video that kind of shows a little bit of the town of Sonora as we go to, what is it, Den, the Dens Bar, where the airport is. So Danielle's back there somewhere. Um, so yeah, there she is. A little slow sometimes when she's trying to say all of her goodbyes to all of her friends. That's what it is. She got all of her goodbyes in, so now back to work. Ugh. Long <laughs> journey home. Um, so yeah, here's the Sonora Harbor. Pretty neat. Yeah, so yeah, now we look for a name out of a million. I'll uh, do a quick clip to show you what that looks like. <laughs> so again, this is kind of what it looks like as you get out. As you check in, you check in right over there. Um, and then as you get out, you're looking for uh, someone. So as you can see, he, she found him. He's got his name right there. So we are good to go. So um, off to the races. So now that we're in our car with our driver, you can kind of see this is pretty common. Uh, a lot of the scooters here, um, again, everybody's going to be kind of zooming in and out, coming and going. So I'll grab some more snapshots of kind of what we're working with here. Um, but you can kind of see that the traffic outside uh, there is a lot of scooters on the road. Uh, most of the traffic is fairly light this morning. I will say that it's pretty light, but I think everybody's getting ready to come here for the weekend. So um, a lot of tourists at this spot just because of the, uh, the boat trip over to uh, getting to the island. So yeah, it's uh, pretty neat. 